Hi, welcome to Prophetic Utterance. I'm your host, Jacqueline and Ken. It's a pleasure to be back coming at the midnight hour. Well, actually, this is the third watch. The third watch is 12 a.m. till 3 a.m. So I got another half hour in the third watch before entering into the fourth watch. So we just give God the honor and the praise. We thank God for his grace and mercy upon our lives. We thank God that he is our deliverer. Amen. We praise God that he is our deliverer. He is our yoke destroyer, burden remover. Amen. So we bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in our mouths. No matter what the circumstances may be, his praise should always be in our mouths. So we thank him, amen, because God is good. And we thank God that he is our deliverer. We thank God that he delivers us from the enemy, amen. He delivers us from, from the assignments of the unsound mind. You know, we cannot allow ourselves to have an unsound mind, amen. Uh, this is fear. This is the spirit of fear. When the enemy comes, he wants us to have an unsound mind. He doesn't want us to have peace. He doesn't want us to have self-control. Uh, this is the way he inhabits our emotions, the way we communicate, the words that we speak. We have to be very careful at this time um, because our words are our anchors. Once we release the word, it falls into the depths of the ocean, amen, and it takes root in the in the belly of the ocean, amen. It's an anchor, it's heavy, it's weighty. We have to be careful of our words. Our words can become a snare to us. Our words can become a stronghold, amen. So we have to begin to rebuke, amen, anything that is demonic in our lives. Rebuke it, bind it, cast it out in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Nothing can be cast out. Amen. Unless it is identified and it is being uh, renounced and repented. Repent, renounce, let it go and keep moving forward in the kingdom of God. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we give you the honor and the glory. We thank you for grace and mercy. We thank you, Father God, that you are our deliverer and you deliver us, Father God, from the spirit of fear in the name of Jesus Christ. This message is for those who are struggling with the spirit called fear. Amen. Fear is demonic. It is evil. Amen. Fear can keep many of us in bondage but we cannot give place to these demonic spirits we have to trust in the name of the lord and believe in in him believe in the name of the lord believe and not doubt amen in the name of Jesus Christ. So, Father God, we thank you for deliverance. We thank you, Father God, that you have delivered us. We thank you, God, that you purchased us by the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father God, that you wash our sins with the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you that we are in covenant with you through your son's blood, Jesus Christ. I thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that we take authority. I take authority right now over my life and whoever's listening i pray you would do the same too take authority over your life over every area of your life according to luke 10 19 according to matthew 12 verse 29 and father god in the mighty name of jesus christ we bind the strong man demon of fear and all its kindred spirits and as a believer according to mark 16 verse 17 i have authority and whoever you are you have authority to command evil spirits of fear to leave you now in the name of jesus christ if you have a child if you know someone who is struggling with the spirit called fear now is the time to speak deliverance over their lives now is the time to pray and ask god to wash you with the blood of the lamb because you uh, you and I have been purchased with the blood of Jesus. Our children have been purchased with the blood of Jesus. So, Father God, we pray now that the blood of Jesus wash us, amen, cleanse us, purify us, amen, according to the word of God, Revelations chapter 1, verse 5. Father God, we thank you for the covenant that we have through your son, Jesus Christ, the covenant that we have right now through his blood, through our testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, Father, I bind every evil spirit 
within me. So whoever's listening, what you need to do, you need to listen to the way I am praying. And you need to learn how to pray with power and authority according to Luke ten nineteen. So pray, I bind every evil spirit in me and command them to unlink themselves, not to render aid to each other or call out to each other and to come out in the name of Jesus Christ. There you go. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, whoever hears the sound of my voice and come in a corporate agreement with me, they will have their deliverance. Whoever's listening, you will be free from the spirit of fear. I command all fears to come out in the name of Jesus. All spirits of fears to come out. All spirits of murmuring, the spirit of complaining, of the spirit of criticism, the spirit of judgmentalism, the spirits of heaviness, Mm -hmm. come out in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of depression, spirit of despair, worry, fear of the future, fear that that gones at you, the spirit of of what if, the spirit of coward, the spirit of unbelieving, the spirit of being negative, mm -hmm, come out in the name of Jesus Christ. I command all unclean spirits that operates from the spirit of no confidence, I command you out in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit that brings rebellion, contagious, fear, fretful, negative, and depressive, fear that robs me or robs you of your future that robs you from moving forward fear of going doing something new fear of persecution fear of your enemies fear of offending others i command these evil spirits and their and their kindred spirits and all to come out come out now in the name of jesus whoever's listening i command the spirit and these evil spirits of fear and their kindred spirits will all come out of you now in the name of Jesus. Go. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Now take a deep breath and blow it out. I'm doing this right now because this is the hour between 12 and 3 a.m. This is a time, this is when the assignments are moving within the realm of the earth where workers of iniquities Workers that works in darkness and works for the kingdom of God, for the kingdom of darkness. I mean, those unclean spirits, those demonic spirits, those satanic agents, workers of iniquity are busy assigning spirits in, in your life, sowing seeds of tears. I mean, to choke up your destiny and purpose that father has for you the plans that father has for you to prosper you amen according to jeremiah 29 verse 11 so i'm commanding these unclean spirits to come out and you can see or you can hear amen you can hear these spirits are connected to spirits of unbelieving this is connected to having unbelief when a person wants an unbelief this person lacks faith and if this person lacks faith they also have doubt and when this person has doubt they have fear and many of you have given the place to the spirit of fear because of doubt and this spirit must be cast out in the name of Jesus Christ so I'm commanding these evil spirits and these kindred spirits to come out of you now in the name of Jesus Christ and you take a deep breath all the way in your nose all the way down to your belly and release those unclean spirits now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We forbid the spirits from operating in your life. We command those demonic spirits, those stronghold spirits to come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirits that does not give you a peace of mind. Amen. Spirits that causes you to walk in bondage. Amen. So that's why we must read the word of God and keep ourselves connected to the vine, because when we connect it to the vine, we will be able to produce fruit. 
Amen. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I command all those unclean spirits to leave each individual so that they will be able to go and do the things that you have called them to do. As we command the morning, command the day, command the midnight hour, as we bring forth the breaker anointing, fresh fire, Holy Ghost fire, the spirit of the living God, I pray that he will locate you now and deliver you from the spirits of fear. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. We bless your name, Father God. We bless your name, Father God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I command out of you fear that robs you of of your resolve. I mean, you will no longer have problems resolving problems problems. Amen. Because that spirit of fear will no longer attach itself to you. It will no longer rob you. Amen. It will no longer rob you of sound judgment. It will no longer rob you of a sound mind. It will no longer bring fearful thoughts, instability, fear of people, fear of circumstances, fear of the future, fear of confrontation, fear of growing old, fear of being institutionalized, fear of being Rob, fear of being raped, fear of getting sick with incurable disease. Mm-hmm. Incurable disease. I mean, where this disease itself, what is going on now in the earth, it is not something that you want to confess with fear. God is able to deliver you and heal you. God will not allow the spirit of fear to cripple you in the name of Jesus Christ. This fear will not cause you to forget, be absent minded. We command these unclean spirits to come out in the name of Jesus Christ. We command these spirits of fear to leave you now and go in Jesus' name and take a deep breath and breathe them out. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, for more grace and more mercy upon each person's life, Father God. I pray, Lord, that whoever hears this message, Father God, that they will be delivered completely. Amen. They will no longer be in bonds to the spirit of fear in the name of Jesus Christ. These demons will not operate in their lives ever again. So whoever you are or wherever you are, renounce the spirit of fear. Renounce it now in the name of Jesus. Say, Father God, I renounce the spirit of fear. I renounce the spirit of fear that causes me to make the wrong decisions. I renounce it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Know that spirit of fear is evil. Amen. Know that the spirit of fear is out to destroy you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. We thank you, Father God. We thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We praise you for deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. We praise you, Father God. Hallelujah. For the scripture, there's a scripture where uh, it speaks about the spirit of fear according to the book of Mark. Amen. Mark chapter 5, verse 1 through verse 5 and verse 20. Then they came to the other side of the sea, to the country of the 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 gatherings. And when he had come out of the boat immediately, there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit who had his dwelling among the tombs. And no one could bind him, not even with chains because he had often been bound with shackles and chains and the chains had been pulled apart by him and the shackles broken in pieces neither could anyone tame him and always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying out and cutting himself with stones amen when he saw Jesus from afar, he ran and worshipped him. And he cried out with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with you, Jesus, son of the most high God? I implore you, my God, that you do not torment me. For he said to him, Come out of the man, unclean spirit. Then he asked him, What is your name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. Also, he begged him earnestly that he would not send him out of the country. Now, a large herd of swine was feeding there near the mountains. So all the demons 
begged him, saying, Send us to the swine that we may enter them. And at once Jesus gave them permission. Then the unclean spirits went out and entered in the swine. And the herd ran violently down the down the steep place into the sea and drowned in the sea. So those who fed the swine fled. They told it in the city and in the country, and they went out to see what it was that had happened. When they came to Jesus and saw the one who had been demon possessed, had the legion sitting and clothed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. And those who saw it told them how it happened to him, who had been demon possessed and a and about the swine. Then they began to plead with him to depart from their region. And when he got in the boat, he who had been demon possessed begged him that he might be with him. However, Jesus did not permit him, but said to him, Go home to your friends, tell them what great things the Lord has done for you, and how he had compassion on you. And he departed and began to proclaim in Decapolis and all that Jesus had done for him and all marveled. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray whoever hears this story, hears the word, and hears the teaching, will begin to understand that you are the God who has compassion on us. You are the God who permits what can happen in our lives. Yea, God, you are our deliverer in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you now that deliverance is the children's bread. Amen. I thank you, Father God, that you are delivering your children from emotional bondage called fear. I thank you, Father God, that you are delivering them. Amen. From the spirit of fear to come out of their intellect, come out of their will in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Not my will be done, Father God, but thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. God, we thank you this day for your daily bread. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you provide for us. Amen. We thank Thank you, Lord, that you deliver us from the tormented spirit called fear, the unclean spirits. Amen. We thank you, Lord, for the breaker anointing, fresh fire, Holy Ghost fire. We thank you, Father God, that you are our yoke destroyer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you that you deliver us from the spirit called fear, the stronghold of fear. Let the stronghold of fear be demolished now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the stronghold of fear be demolished in our mind so that we no longer will have the spirit of an unsound mind. We will no longer have a spirit of a reprobated mind, a wicked mind, a blinded mind, a sorrowful mind, witchcraft, grief of mind, unnatural grief, insanity, mind of a scoundrel, good for nothing spirit, backed by the haters of good, haters of God, haters of God's people, envy, unrighteousness. Father God, we bind all these demonic spirits now and we command them to be bound in heaven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So Father God, we bind them now and we command them to unlink themselves and not to render aid to each other, to call out to each other and to come out of the person come out of their lives now there you go come all the way out you demonic spirit you unclean spirit spirit of unsound mind you spirit of a fried mind you spirit of foolish mind you spirit reprobate mind you spirit wicked mind blinded mind you spirit of sorrowful mind witchcraft grief of the mind unnatural grief insanity mind of a scoundrel good for nothing spirit backed by the haters of good, haters of God, haters of God's people, envy, unrighteousness, I command you out in the name of Jesus Christ. Be delivered. Whoever's listening, be delivered now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be delivered and set free in Jesus' name we pray. Now take a deep breath and breathe out. And Father God, we thank you right now as we end this third watch. Whoever was listening and who will listen in the future will be delivered from the the unsound mind, 
from the spirit of fear, from unclean spirits. Yea, God, they will be delivered now in the name of Jesus Christ as we shut down the activities of the third watch witchcraft. Evil demonic activities from the kingdom of darkness. There you go. We seal every entry point with the blood of Jesus Christ where they cannot enter in and torment your people with their dreams, uh huh, with their visions, with their future. Yay, God. They will not interfere with the assignments and the plans and the purpose you have for them. In the name of Jesus Christ, we break, we break, we break the activities now with the sword of, with the hammer of God, which is the word of God. For you say, is my word like a hammer that breaks the rocks to pieces? So let the rocks be shattered right now to pieces. In the name of Jesus Christ, with the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. We praise you for deliverance and salvation. We thank you, Lord, that they are delivered and free from the spirit of fear. Fear will not be your portion. The spirit of loneliness, depression, loss of hope, despair, self-pity, despondency, desperation, discouragement, hopelessness, isolation, hermit, recluse, alone. Spirit, spirits that make you feel like pulling back, spirits that makes you feel like pulling out, spirits that make you feel like giving up, spirits of defeat, failure, sunkenness, dullness, flattened, let down, criminal minded, wrong thinking, insanity, madness, suicide, spirit of death. I command you all to unlink yourselves now in the mighty name of Jesus and not to render help to one to each other or call to each other to help each other. I command you all to come out of each individual that hears me now. Come out of that, come out, come out of that person now. Come out of their life now. All the way out. I drive you out with the finger of God. I command you out. Come out. And go to the dry places now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now take a deep breath and breathe in. And I thank God for the Spirit of God to come and rest upon you now. Let the Spirit of God come in. Welcome the Holy Spirit. Give the Holy Spirit permission to indwell you. That's right. Let the Holy Spirit go into the areas that's been vacated by the stronghold spirits from the strong man, from the demonic spirits called fear and its kindred spirits. Let the Spirit of the Lord go in right now. Every area that you renounce, let the Spirit of God go in now and Feel those areas now. Mm-hmm. Allow the Holy Spirit to rest in you now and to dwell in you. Amen. And let the Word of God take root in you now and bring forth its harvest. Amen. His harvest. Let Him bring forth His harvest in you that you will begin to produce fruits of the Holy Spirit. Uh huh. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. And we thank God now that the third watch is over with. We thank God, amen, in the mighty name of Jesus, that we have entered into the fourth watch. And whatever the enemy has stolen while we slept, he must render it back to us sevenfold in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Render it all back now in Jesus' name. Every assignment, mm-hmm, anything that he had planted, he must render it back now. Every demonic activity, we counsel it now with the blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father, for the blood of the Lamb. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We bless your name, Father God. We thank you for your mercies and your grace upon our lives. Amen. Thank you for listening to Prophetic Utterance. I'm your host, Jacqueline King, commanding the third watch all the way into the fourth watch. Amen. May God bless you. May God deliver you from every demonic destroyer. May God continue to bring double portion to your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we thank you for your people. We thank you, Father God, for your deliverance. We thank you, God, for their portion in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, that we come against all demonic trafficking that is moving throughout the people of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. We bind every demonic spirit right now that's preventing you from advancing. Amen. We bind the activities right now in the name of Jesus Christ that demotion, 
being dem- having demotion will not be your portion. Amen. Promotion will be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We come against the spirit of Ahab that will cause the people to fear in the mighty name of Jesus. Fear right now. We bind that spirit, that Ahab spirit. We bind you now. We come against you now with the blood of Jesus. We bind the strong man. We thank you, Father God, that anger, bitterness, selfishness, lust, and pride will lose its power. That's right. It will lose its power over you now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we come against all the spirits of fear and intimidation now in the mighty name of Jesus. We come against every demonic spirit of anxiety, panic attacks in the mighty name of Jesus. We come against every spirit of fear of the next spirit of progress, advancement, and fear of stepping out. You will no longer have fear of stepping out. You will no longer have fear of being in progress. I mean, you must show progress. You must show advancement. Amen. We pray now that God has already delivered you from all these comfort zones. Amen. Come out of these comfort zones and we bind all the spirits of the python. That's right. That will try to choke the life out of you now in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind that demonic spirit called fatigue in Jesus name. We command those unclean spirits that has come against you to come out now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father God. We thank you, Lord, for the deliverance. We thank you for the salvation. We thank you, Lord, for the breakthrough in Jesus name. And I speak blessings over you and your household. I speak the power of love, peace, and a sound mind. Fear will not be your portion. You have been delivered. Receive, amen, your deliverance. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Praise God. We thank God for the anointing. We thank God for the fire of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Father God, as we command the midnight hour, as we command the third watch and the fourth watch. We thank you, Father God, for the atonement of the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father God, for the covenant that we have through your Son, Jesus Christ. Yea, God, we thank you, Lord, for the sanctification, the justification. We thank you for the redemption in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May God be with you. May God bless you in Jesus' name. And I'm your host, Jacqueline King, Prophetic Utterance.